Yo, what's good, y'all? So I seen this clip, some clips of this video right here surfacing on the internet. So I went to go find the video, and I thought I'd just get my thoughts on it. Like my opinion really freaking matters. But we gonna watch this. Basically, apparently it's the Cheesecake Factory date, and this girl's like, from the clips I seen, bro, this is entitled as hell, bro. I hate to say that word, but I don't want to say it. I'm about to bleep that out. But damn, this shorty, shorty's dumb entitled, bro. And I got this at one point. I got this in speed because, like, the beginning of the video, this should take this junk. I, I, I it's one point two speed. Okay, almost there. Just need to find some. Already time. got a green dress on, bro. It's already a walking red flag. You got a green dress on. This is insane. This chicken don't got a clue in the world, bro. Does he not feel the animosity? Like, I don't know if that's the right word to you. Does he not feel like the, the, the energy's off in the car? Tell him I said hi. What? <laughs> Let me just get the door for you. Okay. He got me at the Cheesecake Factory, y'all. I ain't getting out this phone. Mm-mm. already strike one right there strike one would have been the energies off in the car okay i'm gonna let that slide strike two you locked me out of my own car yeah i'm t you're getting out of my car and i'm leaving you there if he if i'm him he seemed like he he seemed like he's really been too nice of a guy just call her uber bro this is rude bro this is like yes. this is like really rude uh would you want me to open the door for you okay are you you're recording me? Yeah. Yeah. Like it's so like brain dead, bro. He's acting so brain dead, like, oh my god, bro. This is the Cheesecake Factory. This is the Cheesecake Factory, y'all. What's the problem with that? Uh, this is a chain restaurant. Who takes someone that looks like this to a chain restaurant? You want to talk? I'm, I wouldn't. I'm, I'm. 90% of us ain't taking you nowhere. What when did we become so entitled to the cheesecake factory? Especially uh who fuck she, she thinks she's Beyonce or something? Like seriously, she thinks she's Beyonce or something? When did people become so so like when did we become so too good for certain restaurants? A picnic date should have been good enough, bro. What does she want him like? Talk about it? I'm I'm fine with talking about it. <laughs> Even in front of them. Oh okay. yeah, I want to talk about it. Yeah, we, come on, get up on in the car. Yeah, we gonna talk about it. <laughs> oh, okay. This gotta be fake. You gotta beat on your own door, bro. I don't understand, bro. Like this, this generation's so messed up that they like. You got women like this thinking that a guy because apparently she want to go to some lavs exclusive date where he got his the, the, the bill gonna be five hundred plus. When did we become so good? Like a good, nice, a nice coffee date would have been nice. Like a nice little coffee date. Uh, buy some coloring books or buy some to where you can draw at a picnic and maybe drink wine, bro. When did we become too good for stuff like that? To where you have to, you gotta, spend, you gotta spend a bag on on a girl. When did we become too good for that? I'm feeling like so for real. Okay. So, so yes. Let's talk about it. Let's talk you, about it. So you expect a man to go all out on the first date. Is that right? I mean, you're supposed to. Look at, I mean, expect, when you take out a beautiful woman. <laughs> what, what, what beautiful woman? No, not for real. Like, what? Like, if, like, bro, I don't want to cause nobody ugly, but it's like, when you act like this, it makes you even uglier than you really are. I don't care how beautiful a woman is. If you carry yourself the way this mid woman carries herself you're ugly as hell like you're you're instantly ugly once your personality is ugly to me you're an ugly woman i don't care how beautiful you don't care what you look like you're ugly 
and she's already mediocre in mid. And the way you, and you carry yourself like this, you're ugly. What beautiful woman are we looking for? I'm still looking. Y'all, if y'all take out a woman, y'all really, y'all don't gotta take out. Y'all don't gotta go all out on the first date, bro. Y'all really do not have to go all out. If a woman likes you, she don't care what. It can be in your car. You can y'all can be in Chick Fil A, in the car, on a lunch break, and she's there. If she likes you, she likes you, bro. The woman I'm with, our first date was Applebee's. Really and truly, our first date was what I just said, sitting in the car and we ate Chick-fil-A on our lunch break for the whole hour and we was just chilling. And then we hung out after work and we sat in my car after work. And then she went home. If she likes you, she likes you, bro. <laughs> you gotta take her to no damn, what's an expensive restaurant? I've never been to an expensive restaurant. I'm gonna keep the book. You don't gotta take her, what? Root Chris, that is considered luxury, Root Chris, whatever the hell that restaurant is. You don't, you don't gotta take her to a Root Chris to where a bill gonna be expensive, bro. Any man that leaves with his wallet ain't a man, bro. And you're courting her because I, I get courted. So you're mm -hmm. courting her, right? You're supposed to take care of her. You're and supposed to cover her. You're supposed to protect her, cherish her, treat her well, right? Yeah. And, and supposed I, to do. I agree. Not I, I went into the state her? as I expect uh, with the expectations for myself to keep you safe, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. to respect you, mm -hmm. uh, to pay for your food, of course, pick you up, of course, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. just treat you like a gentleman, which I believe I have done. I mean, you, yeah, and, you've been pretty then, nice, but I mean, then, you take back. Yeah, bro, she she had to go, bro. He's already accepting too much that a lot of us wouldn't take, bro. Like, he don't, it don't seem like she got a very big backbone, bro. She would have had to get the fuck. As soon as you locked me out of my own car and said all this and all that about the Cheesecake Factory and you being too good for a restaurant, bro, instantly, bro, you got to go. You ain't a woman for me, bro. Any woman that carries herself like this ain't a woman for me and ain't a woman for a, a majority of y'all, bro. She got to go, bro. Especially when she looks like this. Talk on, like, I don't want to call nobody ugly because I don't. I don't like being mean. But it's like, when you look like this and you carry yourself like you Beyonce or something, bro, yeah, you gotta go. You're not, you're not her. I, on the other hand, have certain expectations for a girl I go out with on the first date. I expect her to be respectful too. I expect her to be cooperative. Mm -hmm. and, and at least, you know, uh, what did I do that wasn't cooperative? Well, I mean, like, oh my gosh, it's like, it's not the obvious. Like this is, she thinks this is not being, like being cooperative. This is being rude. This is rude. Even like is uncooperative a word? Did I, did I am I uncooperative? I think that's a word. That's what this is. Uh, when we were walking to the car, uh, you wouldn't uh, put your hand around my arm or anything like that. Or Prince Charming. Like that. I mean, it's too early for that. Okay, I yeah, don't know you. I yet. can respect that. I can respect that. Okay. When uh, I got to your apartment to pick you up, uh, you didn't want to invite me in. I can respect that too. So we're not again. Maybe I don't we're not know there. Yet. Okay. And then. Okay, if we're going by her fucking logic, this fucking dodo bird, she's pissing me off at this point. If it's too early for you to put your arm, I don't know what kind of Prince trauma ridge this nigga got, but if it's too early for you to put your arm around, put her, your arm around his arm or invite him into your apartment and all this, then it's too early for him to take you on an expensive luxury date, bro. It's too expensive for all. He should have took you to a nice little coffee spot. Probably like a like a Panera bread or something to where y'all got like a smoothie and a little lunch and got to know each other. Cause that's what the point of a date is. To get to know each other. It shouldn't be no expensive, crazy, luxury date, bro. Any man that leads with his wallet should be a red flag anyway. Like if I'm a woman and a man take me to like root Chris as the first date and spending all this money, I'm gonna look at you side eye because you don't even know me yet. But I mean, I feel like I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do as a woman. No, you're not. But I, I got mean, myself all made nothing up. nothing wrong with the Cheesecake Factory. This is made up. She got pink lipstick and a green dress. That shit looks retarded. Right? Yes, there's a lot wrong with the Cheesecake Factory. Okay, well, look at, I mean, look at my plan, where we were going to go originally. See, now that's that's where that's where we should have went. All right, right there. Call see, him. Call him. No. What do you mean, no? That's what I like to hear. That's what I like to see. He's putting his foot down, bro. That's what I wanted to see. But he allowed, he allowed way too much. I'm, I was I was getting scared, bro. Let's see. He said no. See, I, I specifically told you both yesterday and this morning 
that I'd come to pick you up at 4 a.m. At 4 p.m., right? Mm. And I got to your place at 4 p.m. You didn't even come downstairs for another hour. And so I was waiting downstairs. I hate that I keep pausing, but it's... Bro, I hate that this generation nowadays, like, this is supposed to be a one-on-one -on -one private conversation. And it seemed like it don't matter what it is. I heard, of, like, I seen an NBA player recently hit him and his woman, uh, get her. She does OnlyFans or some shit like that. I hate how when nowadays when people want to have an intimate, one v one like an intimate conversation, where it's just y'all too, that all you see is this right here in your face. This this what you see in your face, bro. Whole time, this is what you see. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Just this this the phone screen. It's like it's like a it's like a barrier. Like it's like a barrier. That's all you see is the phone screen in your face, like in your face, bro. This this in your face whole time in your face this whole time phone in the face while y'all having an intimate conversation that should be a private conversation not the whole world should see it bro I for an hour right? but i wasn't expecting for work to take me so long I there we go with the excuses late. bro and like i said i don't know you well enough to invite you up into my apartment and that is not possible and that's why i'm saying i'm thinking okay if we're not there in the relationship to you know meet uh, at your apartment then maybe we're not ready in a relationship for such a huh? nice fancy uh, restaurant as Aria exactly that's what I'm saying bro if it's too early for all that which is simple stuff then he's it's too early to be spending a bag on a date to get to, a date is for you to get to know each other you shouldn't lead with your wallet bro any man that leads with his wallet is a walking red flag any woman that expects you to lead with your wallet is a walking red flag all bro, bro, just get kick her out the car, bro. But I'm paying for the whole thing, which I'm still willing to do. I, mean, I would have been, okay. but if we're late, I mean, I told I mean, you we twice. Late. It was that late. I'm we literally late. left your place at the time the reservation was good, supposed to be. Oh, okay. And I specifically said four because maybe we could get there early and even get, have some time to get to know each other on the way there and while we're in the parking lot. I mean, we, waiting for a reservation. We can still get to know each other. Isn't there another restaurant you can call that, like, you know, no. equivalent to that? I mean, I, I you, literally you don't said. understand. Look at me. I cannot go in the Cheesecake Factory. Nigga, who does she think, like, who, bro, who do you think you are, though? Like, how are people so entitled nowadays in this generation to where they just think that they're so good for certain things? Bro, people like this, bro, and it, it don't just go for women. Women don't just act like this. I don't want y'all thinking that I'm bashing women and all this. Men act like this too. People just act like they're just so good for certain things. Like people like this, bro. Y'all shouldn't even waste your time with them, bro. As soon as she would have said, "Uh, Cheesecake Factory," and she's too good for it, bro. Get out, bro. You're not the woman for me, bro. It's clearly, clearly, and it seemed like she was late to get out because he said the reservation for five and four. That means she waited an hour. So if you're you're waited, you waited an hour for her. Bro, I would have left after like 10 minutes. I would like, cause I told you I was going to be there at a certain time. I'll probably give you like 15 minutes. So I would have been out of there at 4.15, left. And I wouldn't even let you know that I left. I would have just been gone. Because clearly you don't respect me or my time or like what I had planned out and all this. You don't respect me at all. So it was like, bro, you're not the woman for me. So you can get the fuck. There's nothing wrong I, with I will die. That's okay. embarrassing. Listen, I, as I said, I have very specific <laughs> certain expectations. I was that yeah. embarrassing. I can tell it's not going to be there. I ha And maybe we're not right for each other. Exactly. So Put your foot down, bro. I'm going to just drop you off at home. What do you mean I know he didn't? Yeah. So, you just... Mom, look how surprised she is. Oh, I know he didn't. I know, like, yeah, you're not that. You're not her. I don't know where this where this entitlement comes from people in the world nowadays i don't know where this sense of entitlement comes from but i feel like people only exist like this in america because other countries i don't feel like they act like this i feel like this is only in america and it goes for men and women the entitlement is crazy i think i be feeling like we got too much freedom bro i'm gonna put it that way i feel like america should be having too much freedom bro my pops feel the same way want to call it a night i mean yeah. isn't there some kind of compromise or something uh, compromise I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, I, I, if I don't feel Can respected, I, I am mean, not gonna go through I mean, with the rest of the day. Well, I mean, you are serious. You're really leaving. Yeah. I mean, you didn't want this place anyway, right? I mean. Exactly. You don't want the place anyway. I mean, I understand that I was late. I understand that. I understand.
Now she's about to start copping a plea, bro. She's about to start copping a plea. Probably say a sorry. It's going to take her about seven minutes to apologize, bro. Bro, she's just rude, bro. And he's better than me, bro. I would have told her to get the car right there in there, bro. In fact, I would have went in the Cheesecake Factory, ate my food, came out the, came back after eating the food. And if she's still in the car, she would have had to get the bro. She rude, bro. It's wrath, bro. He should have kicked her out, bro. But I'm glad he put his foot down, bro. He got a backbone, bro. I said, I know I said earlier, he don't got a backbone. He got a backbone. Everyone has a limit, bro. And that's his limit, bro. That I could have been a bit more cooperative. You had, you made some good points. That's why I'm willing to compromise. Are you sure you want to go home? Uh, I don't have a lot of rules. I don't have a lot of expectations for a first date, but I've already set them. And you've broken everyone. Oh so. my God. Ah! I'm sorry. She broke everyone. <laughs> yeah. Get her the fuck All up right, out of here. Well, I mean, I guess I, I understand. You gotta do what you gotta do. Well, I'm sorry. It took you seven minutes and 45 seconds, which is damn near the whole video, for you to finally apologize for being a rude, ignorant fuck. I hate people like this, bro. And it don't just be women that act like this. It be men, too, that act like this shit, too, bro. Bro, any person that carries themselves like this or acts a certain way or acts like they're too good for certain things in the world, that ain't the person that you should be associate, associating yourself with. I'm sorry, y'all. So, I, she, she, she's, she's free to think and have her standard, but that ain't the woman for you, my boy. And any, any of y'all who have women or who talk to people like this, whether they're male or female, they shouldn't be around you, bro. De-associate yourself with people like that, bro. Them people, them people are like toxic, and it's going, bro. Just get, just get from around them. But yeah, y'all like the video? Subscribe if you're new, and y'all stay, stay safe. I keep messing up my words today, but yeah. Mwah.